Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another of my PlayStation 4 reviews. Today's review is for Mafia 2, the definitive edition. Now this dropped kind of out of nowhere this week on the um, PlayStation Store. It was heavily hinted that this was coming out very, very soon. Um, as they have been working on a Mafia trilogy, a trilogy of games. Uh, the first Mafia is in uh, is being made from the ground up, and that came out in 2002, and that's coming out in August. Uh, Mafia 2 has been remastered uh, with all the DLC and everything, and that has been released this week. And Mafia 3 is also getting a definitive edition. Uh, we got all the DLC and things like that with that game as well. Now I'm quite a big fan of the Mafia games. I certainly remember playing the first Mafia game back in 2002. Um, although I don't remember playing it an awful lot, but I did have it. Mafia 2, this game, um, when it was released 10 years ago, I think it was 2010, I had this on PlayStation 3, played it, completed it, really, really enjoyed this game very, very much. Now, I remember when this was released at the time, open world games were just getting really, really big and popular and all that kind of stuff. And when this was released, it got quite a lot of criticism um, as it's open world if you like, uh, was a little bit linear than some. Now, this actually has played out quite differently nowadays because people are a little bit tired of up these huge open world games that are full of endless activities to do. Um, and this game is actually a bit of a refreshing change now, ten years later, from what we got ten years previously. Now, it, this essentially is a story-heavy uh, linear mafia game where you follow uh, the life of Vito who is a young Italian American who initially at the beginning of the game is drafted into the US Army comes home um, and gets involved in the um, local organized crime he m makes his way up through the ranks um, as a high-ranking mafia uh, enforcer kind of as the, as the game progresses on now how this game works the structure basically is um, you've got an apartment a place to stay you wake up the next chapter begins you will drive to a certain location you will do a certain task um, and then you will end the day end the task usually back at your apartment and then the next chapter will begin so it's 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 quite a linear game in many 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 ways now there are things to do in the city but not an awful lot I mean there's you can steal cars and then you can have them um, you can take them to the local garage and change the plates to make them legally yours and do paint jobs all that kind of stuff um, and you can go to restaurants and bars and have food and drink you can go and buy clothes at clothes stores you can go and buy guns at gun stores that kind of stuff um, but and there's even petrol stations for you to go and get fuel for your car it's not that you would ever really need to do it I've never needed to do it but it's nice that it's there so it, it it kind of feels a little bit lived in if a little bit deserted at times this city Empire Bay which is basically a take on New York City um, but ultimately you don't really want to do an awful lot of those sort of things you just well I, I've found certainly playing this the second time round that I'm more interested in getting through the story um, because it's actually a really fun story especially if you're a fan of gangster films and certainly things like Goodfellas takes a lot of its beats from films like Goodfellas um, and it's, it's a really really good story some fun characters that is actually quite amusing at times some of the way some of the way these characters the dialogue that they have uh, but it's also quite hard hitting as well at the time and it, uh, at times and it doesn't really hold back its violence and its portrayal of violence at the time um, which is really fun because you want a quite authentic um, experience when you play a game like this and it, this kind of certainly gives it you certainly the Hollywoodized version of it if you like um, and it is actually quite a lot of fun to play now compared to a lot of modern games that you will play um, these days the gunplay in this game is a little bit unresponsive a little bit um, it, it, it very light and floaty. It's not brilliant, and the car driving again, um, it's not the most responsive. It, it, it's it's not brilliant either. But 
this isn't a driving game so I don't expect simulation style driving in this game there's hand to hand combat in this game which I actually think actually works quite well um, and you get progressively better at it as you go through the game as you learn new skills hand to hand and it's actually one of my favourite parts of the game the hand to hand, the hand, -to -hand aspect of it um, so there's there's lots you could do in this game but ultimately the main draw I feel is the mafia style story that you go through now yet yeah, it's cliched um, but it's actually fun uh, I think the story in, in the sense of you you following this character his growth and um, how he becomes um, and gets more in, uh, involved in this in this mafia organization uh, down from a low ranking um, mafia guy to you know roll away kind of up to the top and it's it's an interesting story and I think it's definitely one of the strong points here now to say this game is a remaster um, now I, I've seen a couple of direct comparisons on YouTube since this game has been released of the original version and this um, and there are clearly differences they have obviously put some effort into the remaster and they made the visuals a bit prettier and a bit more impressive um, but it, it, it you know it's not it's not going to blow your skirt up at the graphics here, you know what I mean? They're okay, they're passable, and sometimes quite pretty. Uh, but it is definitely an upgrade on uh, what you are used to. Is it enough to purchase if you've already got this game? If, you, if you've still got a PlayStation 3 and you've got this game or you've got it on PC or whatever? No, I, I wouldn't say it's worth getting. There's not, They've not really added anything differently into this game. And it is certainly a little bit rough around the edges. I mean, there's a few frame rate drops here and there, uh, a few graphical glitches that I've experienced. Um, you know, people stuck in doorways, all that kind of stuff. There's a, there's a couple of niggles here and there, and I think occasionally it looks very, very rough around the edges. This game, and it's not. I would say it's certainly not the most polished remaster I have ever experienced. But it, it does a decent job. And, and to be fair, I paid 24.99 for this in the PlayStation Store. I think that's a pretty reasonable price for a game um, that you're going to get. Oh, I, I would say I can't remember how I haven't completed it on this version yet, but I did complete it ten years ago, and I can't remember how long it took me to complete this game. But certainly, you're going to get at least 25 hours out of this game, I would suspect. So I think it's worth, you know, 24.99 in the UK. But you know, another couple of months down the road it's going to be in a sale so you might even get it for 15.99 it's a steal at that sort of price um, the, so the, the, like I say there are some issues with the game in the way it looks and the way it performs and how the cars drive and how the shooting is it's all a bit um, old fashioned if you like it doesn't not particularly responsive and the save system properly sucks I mean the only way that you can save this game is like by ending the day pretty much or occasionally after a big battle or a big cutscene or something like that it will it will save it for you as well there but um, it's not one of those games you can just pause and save and then go and then turn it off and then go back to it a couple of hours later and be exactly where you left off and I think this game desperately needed that it feels very very frustrating to play when you want to have a break or you want to turn your PlayStation off or you, do, you know that's it for the day you don't want to play anymore um, you should just be able to save your game. It's, it's it's really really frustrating. I think what they've done there. So to summarise, really, if if you are a fan of the Mafia games um, and you've never played this, certainly if you've played Mafia Three and you enjoyed that game, that game got a lot of stick when it came out. But I actually really quite like that game. I still do. I still do play it occasionally. Um, I think the story in that is absolutely tremendous. Um, and I think it was really really underrated um, is this game better than that well no I, um, the story might be and the characters might be um, but the mechanics certainly aren't the mechanics I think in Mafia 3 are certainly vastly improved um, but it is certainly a really really nice game to play and a fun game to play and I'm really really enjoying my time playing Mafia 2 again so I'd say if you've never played it before it's certainly worth picking up um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's a decent remaster. Don't be expecting high, a highly polished affair here. It is a little bit rough around the edges, but it is certainly a fun game to play and certainly one that you'll probably get your money's worth out of. So that is my review for Mafia 2, the definitive edition. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you back for more reviews very, very soon.